Hey guys. Okay, so before you watch the video, we wanted to tell you about our brand new podcast, Growing Up and Sometimes Sound. We talk about the pains of growing up and going into adulthood. Some of the topics that we discuss are mental health, sex and relationships, body image, the effects of social media. We talk about grief. There's literally so much that we have covered and it's just such a raw and unfiltered version of ourselves. That's what we love so much about the podcast. So if you want to see more about our personal life, then the podcast is definitely a place to go. And the link is down below. That rhyme. Woo! Check it out. Let's get back into the video. Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be bringing you along with me for my what I eat in a day. So I have no idea what I'm going to be eating today. It's going to be pretty random probably, but loads of you guys want to see my like health journey. Some of you guys may know that I'm getting back into the gym. I'm trying to eat better because my relationship with food's been kind of all over the place my whole life. I've not really been that bothered by it and I want to get a better relationship with it. Eat better for me because it's good for your brain. So today I'm going to be showing you just what I eat. I'm not telling any of you guys you need to eat like this. I'm not on a diet, anything like that. For a little bit I was trying to stick to a certain amount of calories and then I was just like I don't need to do that. So I stopped because it was silly and it was just making me feel guilty. So you guys may see some what I eat in a day that may be super low calories. I would hate to think that any of you guys think that you need to follow that. Um, just as long as you make sure you're having nutritious meals then that's all that really matters. So I just thought it would be a fun video to bring you guys along with me and see what I eat in a day it's currently what time it's actually half 10 so it's quite late but I this is usually the time I have breakfast I've already gone for a walk this morning with my mum a little dog walk we walked let me look and almost 7,000 steps oh my god that is actually so good so I'm very hungry very thirsty I've eaten and drank literally nothing not even water I don't know why oh I brushed my teeth does that count? So I'm going to take you guys downstairs with me. I'm probably going to have like, I don't know, we'll have a look in the fridge of what I'm going to eat. Follow me. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. So breakfast usually depends on what's in the house, if I'm honest. Sometimes, Ava, can you sit still, babe? You're walking around? Thank you. <laughs> so to be honest, sometimes I just have to have a, a little look. So today we have bagels because we went on a little food shop the other day and I was like, please may I have some bagels? So this is probably what my, no, none of that crying. We went on a little food shop the other day and I was like, please may I have, are you serious? What I'm trying to say is we got bagels. That's just, I'm not even gonna bother. I don't think I'm gonna have anything else. I might make a smoothie with it. Cause I think mom got berries. That might be nice. I'm gonna go for this almond unsweetened milk. I just use like normal non-dairy milk for my smoothies, I don't know why. But I don't know, this one's open so I'm gonna use this. Oh my God, it doesn't fit with the ice. There we go, I put it in a bigger one so now it's gonna fit. ready to have breakfast. I burnt my bagel a little bit. To be honest, I'm probably gonna be back and having a snack soon because bagels don't fill me up. They fill me up for about half an hour. That is why I've got the smoothie, but I should have put oats in it. Maybe when I'm working in London, I'll have a different type of toast, which is like the Waitrose sourdough. Oh my God, it's amazing and it does fill you up. Whereas bagels, like white bread, it doesn't really fill me up, but it tastes nice. I love bagels, so. This smoothie is actually really good. It's literally just mixed frozen berries, a couple ice cubes and almond milk. Anyway, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. I mean, it's very late, it's almost 11. So I'm gonna be eating lunch soon. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna be having for my breakfast. And I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and catch up on Love Island. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Time and I've been doing tie dye, so my hands are now stained pink to ignore that. But I have basically made my lunch. I'm gonna insert the footage of me making it in a second. I am just literally having chicken with like roasted 
Oh, hold on. I'm having chicken and breadcrumbs with some like carrot chip, roasted carrots. They're gonna be like honey glaze, so that'll be yum. And then some potatoes as chips and then some peas. That's it. It sounds very plain, but I really like plain meals. I originally was gonna have it in a bun because I love these olive ciabattas from Waitrose so much. But I decided, I don't know how, I put two bits of chicken in. I don't know if I'll eat that all. But I just thought I'd rather have just loads of like veg and make some chips instead. So. Oops. So to start I peeled and chopped up my carrots and then I chopped up the potatoes so they acted like little chips. Then I put them in a pan which I put oil in so they didn't stick to the bottom. I seasoned both of them with salt and pepper and then on the chips I put some peri peri salt from Nando's. For the carrots, I put some honey on. However, the honey went really weird and frozen. Not really sure what happened. In total, I probably left them in the oven for about 25 minutes, but I checked and mixed them all up a little. So this is what it looks like. I basically put a bit of honey and pepper and salt and stuff on the carrots, although I don't like pepper, so I don't know why I did that. And then I did some new potatoes, kind of made them into chips. I need to check that they're, yeah, they're good. So this is like, obviously you need veggies and then I have some peas. Maybe you guys didn't come to me for crazy recipes because I'm not the person for that. I'm super unadventurous when it comes to food, but I've not really got a love for it and I really want to get back into eating and enjoying eating and stuff. So. My main aim is kind of to make more stuff myself and I'm trying guys, I'm doing my best. I love homemade chips. Nothing, nothing beats them. Guys, this looks so plain, oh no. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's a pretty good portion of veg. Potatoes are carbs, I don't even know. And then a lot of mayo. Oh well, my hands look like they're freezing because they're pink, but they're just tie-dyed. They're not tie-dyed, they're dyed. <laughs> but yeah, that is my lunch. my lunch it was really nice the only thing was why did i put pepper on the carrot i did not like that not gonna lie so i didn't finish all the carrots so i finished everything else and i'm actually really full it's usually this point like i'm surprised i haven't had loads to snack on i think it's because i've been super busy today like i've been doing loads of work so i've not really been thinking about it so i'll probably later on have a snack but there's not really much to snack on here something that i love is the trek protein bars love those but i don't have any in house sadly so i'm gonna wait till i get hungry because i'm trying to learn to just read my body because sometimes i'll just eat and eat and i'm not actually hungry and i'm like why am i why am i still eating loads when i'm very full so anyway i am going to go back upstairs i gotta feed my teeth i'm literally sat why are my cheeks so red have i got dye on them Nope, just have naturally red cheeks. I'm sat editing this exact video and I was peckish, so I went and got some shortbread. I've already eaten a small one. I've got another one because I'm really hungry. I don't know why my lunch didn't fill me up. I thought I had like a big plate, so I thought I'd be honest with you. I was craving something sweet. Mmm, shortbread was all we had, but works pretty well. So it's 7.30 now and I am starving. I was just waiting for the kitchen to be free so that I could film what I'm having. I'm not sure what I'm going to have to be honest. I kind of fancy pasta but we don't really... There's salmon which I would love to have but we don't really have anything to go with it because we don't have pesto which usually I have with salmon so I'm not sure I could just have creme fraiche sorry everyone's just like breathing right near the camera could I have creme fraiche okay what I think I'm gonna do is please ignore that noise in the background also what is that I don't know what to do we only really have creme fraiche will that actually shut up what even is that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna make. Okay, so what I'm gonna have is spaghetti and some sort of creamy sauce with veg. I don't know. I Look how nice this looks. I think this is for my dad, I'm not sure. But I've just cut up some chorizo. Am I good? I literally just went chorizo, chorizo or chorizo. And I'm gonna cook that. I'm cooking some spaghetti and I'm going to show you the things I put in. To be honest, when I make like a pasta sauce, I just add a load of stuff. But today we don't have cream and to be honest, it's not that good for you putting like loads of cream in. So I'm just going to put a bit of creme fraiche and we'll see what we make. 
I'm just cooking up the chorizo and a little bit of garlic and my kettle's boiling. So this is probably the most simple and worst pasta sauce I've made in my life. But I tried to use the best of what we had. I literally added creme fraiche, then I found some red pesto and some chorizo, some garlic, garlic powder. That's basically it. So it's probably going to be like tomato-y. I'm not sure, but I don't really care. I'm damn hungry. This is it. It kind of doesn't really taste like much. There's quite a lot there, but also half of this is actually peas. I'm definitely not going to eat the whole thing. There's my mess that I've made, but it's okay. I wouldn't make it again. So it's now the next day. I totally forgot to hop in and say that I had some Smarties last night because I don't want to leave them out. My hands are like shaking. I'm starving again. Um, <clears throat> I did the same thing and I left it till really late to eat lunch because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to go make lunch. Anyway, it's the end of the video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Please take the video with a pinch of salt. Also, I know that I ate a lot of meat today. I don't always eat meat for lunch and dinner, but it just so happened that today I did. Don't just like copy this every single day. Obviously, make sure you're having fruit and veg. I didn't have like any fruit today, which is very bad, but we don't really have any. I mean, we had bananas. I don't like bananas. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you want more like this, maybe like what I eat in a week or another like super healthy version, because this wasn't super healthy or anything. I think it was pretty plain, if I'm honest. Then do let me know in the comments and I'll see you with a new video. Bye!